Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. I am so happy y'all are here with me today. Well, so thankful I'll say that because if you are here, that means God has saw fit to open your eyes one more morning. And I don't care if it's a boring Monday, a hump day Wednesday, or almost there Thursday, you can give praise to him for that. Just being here for one more chance. All right, so we are going to get on into this haul. I have a multi-store haul again. I went back. Y'all, I hadn't been doing hauls in a while, but I did one last week. And with spring coming, and well, being here actually, I went back to the store. I had some things to get for the house. I wanted to kind of spruce up the kitchen a little bit. And then I found other stuff. So I'm going to share it with you. First thing, I found these cute sandals. I always call them a little Jesus sandals, a little uh, <laughs> Roman sandals or something. I love these kind of sandals. They are so cute. I got them in a nine and a half. I wear a size nine like firmly for the most part, uh, but in sandals, I love to get a nine and a half. Sometimes even a 10, depending on the brand, but sometimes there's Ladies, y'all don't want that heel hang and the toe hang. Don't do that. That's not cute. So get a little bit bigger. Make sure you look at yourself in the mirror and everything and make sure you don't have no hangage anywhere. But these were at TJ Maxx and they were $19.99. Wasn't looking for them. Shouldn't have went over there in the shoe section, but I did. And yeah, love these. And then next from TJ Maxx, I got these nail polishes and got the big i gotta take the tags off of me i can't stand these big tags but this one was 3.99 i've never gotten orally let me know if y'all have heard that before or if y'all use that i'm thinking it's on the same level as opi i don't know but anyway i got the can you dig it color that's what this is it's just a pretty oh almost like a peach copper kind of thing but it's pretty caught my eye it was $3.99, and then I got the OPI, mm, Como Se Llama. Mm -hmm. I think that's What's Up, or I think that's What's Up in Spanish. I'm not sure. But $3.99, and it is so pretty. It's like a brick, or a, but it has more of a brownish tint, and I really, really like that. It's better for fall, so I saw it. And sometimes you cannot find the same colors later on. So I bought it while I saw it. So I got that from TJ Maxx. And they're looking for home stuff. And yeah. Anyway. On to. And you can get these on Amazon. Y'all. My sister put me on to these. I love these. Too cute. I wanted something comfortable because after I went to Las Vegas, y'all, and I had that little mishap on the strip where I didn't wear the most comfortable shoes. <laughs> y'all, I said, I was not going to be caught in that situation again. So, I bought some comf comfortable shoes in another color, red. I'm going to get some more, but in a different style. Uh, a little bit of a different style. Just some different colors so that when I have on a certain outfit... Uh, you're, you're not always stuck with those, you know, just plain white gym shoes or plain black gym shoes or whatever. I like to be looking cute about the foot and, you know, just coordinating. So, got these. I love these. These were third. They, they run between 25 and 30, depending on what little store on Amazon or Poshmark or wherever you buy. Because these are found in several places. So, I will put an Amazon link down below. Um, and, and even maybe the Poshmark, because I got these from Poshmark, but they sell these on Amazon. But anyway, I'll get you the link to these. Too cute. Next, we're headed on over to Roses. Not Ross, but Roses. Let me know if y'all have a, um, Roses in your city. Comment that down below if you have a Roses. But I love Roses. Roses has everything, um, at good prices, too. But this was $7.99. I'm still going to keep my kitchen, I believe, the same color, which is like a lavender, green, and yellow. Like, you know, lilac, lavender, green, a little bit of yellow. But I want to spruce it up. I want to put some more in here. I just wanted to kind of just speak to me a little bit more when I come in the kitchen in the morning. Anyway, it was $7.99. I thought that was so cute because I have silver accents and chrome and all that. And I just thought the silver, 
you know, would blend in. And I love this touch of natural. I have like taupes and browns and a lot of different color, kind of muted. They're not, the kitchen is not loud at all, but um, it has some muted tones that I love. So I wanted to, to coordinate, of course. So that was $7.99. Also from Roses, I got these shoes. Mm -hmm. I have some rose gold shoes already. Um, I bought before we went on the trip, but those are the, the kind that cut into your foot if you're wearing them a long time. So I found these at, at Roses for $7.99 and they are so soft. They are so soft. And I have a rose gold purse to match and I also have a, a shirt that I just bought. Two shirts actually with rose gold in them. So got these for comfort and they are cute too. Also, I got these, we like to put toast in the oven. Sometimes I do it in my air fryer oven because it has a toast feature, but it ain't nothing like that oven toast. I'm sorry. We have not put a toaster in here. Um, my family wants me to get one because in a rush, like when they're trying to go to work or to school, just popping it in the toaster is easiest, but we love that oven toast. Anyway, they had these and, oh, a dollar, a dollar for two. So that's what I generally like put my rolls, if I'm making rolls or toast or whatever, I usually use that for the oven. Then I got these stockings. And yes, I still wear stockings to church most of the time. And I usher too, and it's just, being an usher, it's just more appropriate to have on some stockings. You ain't supposed to be too. But now, if, if, it's, if it's a casual setting and you have on something long, it's not too bad. But if they like you have a knee length skirt or something like that, you got them big old pretty legs and stuff. I just think, you know, stockings is more appropriate. Anyway, yeah, I still wear stockings most of the time in church. And I got this. Little, I don't know what the material is, but it's kind of like deep pleats, little pleats or whatever. It's long, it's ankle length, so you can't see it all, but it's ankle length. And it was $8.99. This would look so cute with a blue jean jacket, a white t-shirt or a natural color t-shirt, and a cute little purse and, some, and them sandals I had on. like some natural color sandals or something like that, depending on, you know, you can put it together. But too cute, too cute. And coming in from Roses is this home sweet home. It says home sweet home. Home sweet home sign. So that's what it looks like. And we are redoing the outside of our house. So I'm getting stuff for the outside and like I said, a few things on the inside. But it was just $10.99 from Roses. I love it. And I, I've been loving seeing these little plaque signs or whatever on the outside right by the front door of a house. It just looks so cute. So, got that from Roses too. And from Burlington's. Ooh, I got this, I think, for my bedroom. I wanted to add a little bit of something by the bed. I think it needs something. So definitely got one for my side of the bed and it would look nice and it would look uniform if I could put one on my husband's side of the bed. But I know that ain't gonna happen. He, mm -mm. no, 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 he, mm -mm. he is not a flowery type person. When we had the de decor before, he told me don't put nothing, none other flower. <laughs> Well, in his space, anyway, because I went to do his room, his little man cave, whatever. He said, don't put no flowers down there. Don't put no, I guess, plants or anything. He did not want to see nothing else flowery. So, and he, on his side of the bed, he don't want to be knocking into nothing. You know how men are, men, men. He don't want him to be knocking into nothing. He would think this was unnecessary and all of the above. So, I'm just going to put this on my side of the bed. I'm going to spray it silver down here and yeah i think that will look really pretty by the bed and also from burlington i got this little stand here i i think i know where i'm going to put it 
but I love it. I just, I, I saw it in another store and I wanted one, got to Burlington's and it was the right price point for me. This was $8.99, so basically a clearance price, got the red tag on it. Burlington's prices for their home decor, oh my goodness, are, mm, I love their prices. Uh, Ross's also has awesome prices for their home decor. TJ Maxx, pretty decent. Home Goods, pretty decent. But Burlington's and Ross's, oh Lord, those are my stores. Also from Burlington's. I got these door wreaths. Now, I usually make my door wreaths all the time. I have never bought like a fully done up wreath. This way, this one is, these two rather are halfway done up. They have the greenery on them already. But the price was so good. I guess I'm just getting a little old and tired, y'all. I don't feel like making the whole thing by myself. So I got this. I love a nice wreath on the front door. I love curb appeal for a house. So I'm going to go with, um, I'm trying to do all real flowers and everything, but the, the wreath, I love a wreath. At the, so of course they will be faux flowers and this is faux greenery and stuff, but I love a nice wreath on the door. It just adds so much to a home from the curb just rolling by looks beautiful and this was $16.99 so that would be I think a nice summertime wreath and I'm going to put like a few extra flowers on it to coordinate with the outside of our home and then this one will be for a fall wreath Oops. this one will be for fall but I saw it, I liked it, and I said, let me just go on and get it now. And I think this will be for fall anyway. Yeah, I think this, yeah, this is more fall type of, of thing. So I would probably do like orangey corals and stuff like that in the fall. Then I'll do my Christmas wreath. And then this one will be spring and summer. So I think I'll do it like that. Yeah, I'll do that. This one was, oh, $16.99 too. So you put your little flowers and decor on there and you are good to go. Okay, and of course, of course, I stopped by Dollar Tree. <laughs> but from Dollar Tree, I got some more cards. Uh, graduation is coming up. If you all have uh, friends of your kids that are graduating, you got nieces, nephews, neighbors, church members, whatever, they're graduating, you got graduation cards galore, and then Mother's Day is coming up. So get your Mother's Day cards, and I got one uh, for my mom, even though she is not here. And um, so I'll probably, I will be going to the cemetery. It was so crazy because um, me and my husband, we were going, the, the certain neighborhood, you know, we go to sometimes, we have a Dairy Queen over there, just different things. So sometimes we go over to that neighborhood for whatever reason, and we come home a certain way. When we come home a certain way, the cemetery is right there. The cemetery where my parents are buried. And I rode past, well, me and my husband rode past. And I was fine before, you know, just, just fine, you know. And it hits you at odd in different times. And we rode past there and I just broke down just in a matter of just like that. And he was like, babe, what's up? And he, he, before he got it out of his mouth, he knew what it was. And I said, both of my parents are there, you know. And I know that they're not there. You know, I've already discussed this on the channel. I know where they are. But, you know, rolling past the cemetery and both of your parents are buried there. And that just hit me like, oh, my God. But anyway, so anyway, I'll be going to the cemetery on Mother's Day. And many of you may be as well. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> but God bless you to those who have lost your mother, lost your parents, lost your mother, especially Mother's Day is coming up. And um, pray for me and I'll be praying for you. All right. Most of the time, you know, it's all right. And, you know, you get through it. But, you know, it's 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 a it's a sad thing, you know, sometimes to realize that your parents are gone. But fact, I thank God for the time that she was here. All right, moving on. Um, I got these Energy Blend Imperial Nuts. 
and um, they're honey roasted peanuts along with honey roasted sesame sticks, almonds, walnuts, and pecans. And uh, this one is the fruit and nut blend from Imperial Nuts and it has raisins, golden raisins, cranberries, cashews, and almonds. I am trying for the most part to get healthy snacks for my son's game. Healthier. I won't say healthy. I'm not even going to lie and tell that story. It's going to be some times when I'm out there and I'm eating chips and uh, different things like that. And even though these say, you know, they're supposed to be healthy, they're not always. They have stuff in them too. That's not the healthiest, but we can do our best. Um, I also have, and like I said, I ain't going to lie because look at what I got. Peanut butter crackers. And sometimes you just need a something substantial and you don't always want to go to the hot dog stand and all of that but them games be two two and a half hours sometimes and yeah so sometimes you just need something i take fruit with me too and my water bottle and all that stuff but like i said sometimes we just got to do our best um and i got these hawaiian punches as my father say how hawaiian he couldn't say hawaiian <laughs> Hawaiian punches and you know, I take my water most of the time But if we're at a tournament and we're there all day Best believe mama's going to the stand or wherever and I got to have something good To drink, you know with my burger or what, whatever I'm getting so like I said most of the time it'll be healthy But sometimes you know I tried this nature's twist pink lemonade I'm well, going to try it, rather. I saw it, and it looked good. I don't know how it tastes. I've never had it before. But, and Dollar Tree. It's a dollar twenty-five tree is what they should put on the side because it's not a dollar anymore. Ours has gone to a dollar twenty-five, and I think mostly all over the country is a dollar twenty-five, too. Got this Extra Strength Carpet Odor Eliminator. Got two of these. I love this scent. I also like the pet scent. It has a fresh scent. We don't have pets or anything like that, but I just love that scent. But sometimes I just love to put just a little extra. Our carpet smells fine, but I just I love scents in the house. Don't not overpowering, but I like like fresh scents and different things like that. I had an aunt. Oh my goodness! I was just telling my cousin the other day. I was thinking about her. Um, my mother's sister. She has passed as well, but. Oh, she kept a, an immaculate house. And when I used to go over there all the time, she always had my Aunt Minnie. Her house smelled a certain way. The certain freshener, the certain cleaners that she used, whatever combined. And that's how her house smelled all the time. And that's what I seek to do. Not necessarily smell just like that, even though I love it. I don't, I can't, I don't even know all the products that she used. But I love to have like a signature smell in the house is what I'm going for. So I know we all do candles and different things nowadays or whatever, but I love a good uh, pine saw and a good air freshener spray. And sometimes when you come home and you got certain scent in the carpet, not a lot, but you know, just a, and it's just, oh, I love that. Love that, love that. Um, got this Jergens. I have a couple of these already, but I picked up another one. You can put them in your car. And if you do, don't leave them out. Put them in your, like, your little, um, I forget what you call it, not the glove box. You put it in your glove box, but the little console, whatever, so you can reach it easy along with sanitizer. Um, put them in there because they won't get uh, like exposed to the heat and they won't be hot and bust. You know, a lot of times when things are out in the open, they will burst, but keep them so that they stay cool in the console and you know you can use them they won't mess up your interior busting and all that stuff anyway i got the jergens and i got this i think my daughter had this she got the big bottle but i wanted to try it and this is the olay fresh outlast restores hydration so skin feels healthy um but anyway it's a body wash and this was at the dollar tree the dollar 25 though <laughs> and i got this little crest 3d white i wanted to try it. it is radiant mint i got that i got the um other one because i want to start going for treatments like um or for my dentist tooth whitening y'all let me know if y'all have ever gotten tooth whitening treatments or whatever um let me know 
what has worked best, whether you did baking soda, whether you used a, a toothpaste is good for that, or you had to go to your dentist or whatever. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wanting to look into that. Um, I think that is all. I think that is all. Yeah, that is it. So that's my haul for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm so glad y'all were with me. Like I said, if you are new here, welcome. If you are oldie but a goodie, welcome back. For those who, of you who are new, hit that subscribe button. Take a look around the channel too. See what videos you might like. I have a lot of different kinds of videos. It's a multi-video type channel here. I, I'm not niched down. So I hope you love it here at Tracy's Place. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Love you all. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Oh, and if you're fairly new and you don't know how to navigate around YouTube or channels real good, I'll go ahead and put a video up for you to watch. Just click right there.